After you are diagnosed with multiple myeloma, you may receive induction therapy followed by an autologous stem cell transplant. This is a common first treatment pathway for people with multiple myeloma who are eligible. You may continue to receive medication for myeloma after induction therapy, regardless of whether you've received a stem cell transplant. This is known as maintenance therapy. Maintenance therapy refers to the prolonged use of treatment, often at a low dose, after an initial treatment, which may or may not have included a stem cell transplant. The goal of maintenance therapy is to prevent or delay the return of your myeloma if you are in remission. It can also be used to slow the growth of more myeloma cells after initial treatment. In clinical studies, maintenance therapy has been shown to increase the length of time a patient with myeloma remains without disease progression or relapse after initial treatment. Lenalidomide, known by the brand name Revlimid, is currently the only medication approved by the FDA for maintenance therapy in myeloma. Clinical trials are also underway that are studying new potential options for myeloma maintenance therapy, such as Ninlaro, Velcade, Kyprolis, Darzalex, and Tecvali. In most studies, these medications are used in combination with Revlimid. Researchers are looking for other maintenance therapy options that are effective and convenient for patients are safe and well tolerated with long-term use, and that don't interfere with the use of other treatments. Maintenance therapy offers many benefits. In addition to increasing survival, maintenance therapy can also help achieve minimal residual disease negativity. Minimal residual disease, or MRD, refers to the presence of small numbers of myeloma cells within the bone marrow during or after treatment, even if you have no symptoms or clinical signs of disease. In some cases, MRD may be the reason that myeloma ultimately relapses. As with any medication, long-term treatment with Revlimid is associated with some important side effects that you should be aware of. Fatigue is common with Revlimid as well as digestive issues such as diarrhea, nausea, or constipation. You may also experience blood effects as a result of Revlimid treatment. Low blood counts are common, which may increase the risk for certain infections. Blood clots are also possible. In many cases, these side effects can be managed with dose modifications or other medications that minimize the impact of side effects while maximizing the benefits of maintenance therapy. More serious side effects are rare, but should also be discussed when starting maintenance therapy. People receiving long-term Revlimid maintenance therapy are slightly more likely to develop a second cancer, including second blood cancers, such as acute myeloid leukemia or acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Birth defects are also possible with Revlimid use. If you have the ability to get pregnant, you should use appropriate birth control while receiving maintenance therapy. Cost is another consideration if you receive maintenance therapy, as long-term treatment can be expensive. If you meet certain requirements, you may be eligible for support to help cover the costs of Revlimid. Ask your healthcare provider for more information on eligibility. Real-world experience and results from clinical trials demonstrate that maintenance therapy with Revlimid prolongs remission and survival in people with newly diagnosed myeloma. Most patients who are responsive to Revlimid and who can tolerate the side effects should receive maintenance therapy after initial treatment. It's common for Revlimid to be given until the disease returns or progresses. Studies are ongoing to determine if Revlimid can be safely stopped in patients with deep responses to treatment. Side effects of Revlimid can often be managed with support from your healthcare team. If you're unable to tolerate Revlimid, your myeloma specialist can help you learn more about other medications currently under investigation for use in myeloma maintenance therapy.